Game of Thrones changed TV with its epic tales, complex politics, and unforgettable characters. In today's video, we will discuss the 10 best TV shows like Game of Thrones. Just when my baby is doing his business, I find you wenching with Mr. At number 10, we have The Tudors, a show all about the life of King Henry VIII. It's a historical drama that's a bit over the top and focused on drama and romance. If you liked Game of Thrones for its power struggles and didn't mind some of the more intense moments, you might like this one. Jonathan Rhys Meyers plays Henry VIII, and he's portrayed as a much more charming figure than the real historical king. Hey now, but one fine morning you'll succumb to her reasoning and cast me off. What do you mean? Anne, I love you. The show spends a lot of time on Henry's relationships with women, especially Anne Boleyn, played by Natalie Dormer who Game of Thrones fans will recognize. There's also a lot of political scheming, betrayals, and people trying to climb the social ladder, kind of like what you'd find in Game of Thrones. Vikings I swear to our Lord Jesus Christ, I will fight with you. At number 9, we have Vikings, a series that follows the adventures and conquests of Ragnar Lothbrok a character based on a legendary figure in Norse history. Unlike Game of Thrones, Vikings focuses on medieval political upheaval and thrilling combat scenes. Much like Game of Thrones, Vikings was so successful that it led to another series called Vikings Valhalla, which premiered on Netflix in early 2022. <laughs> This new series is set a century after the events of the original Vikings, continuing the epic tales of Viking history. Spartacus My kind Those who own them Your name, your life is what we decide. Far worse. You will die to the roar of the crowd. At number 8 on our list is Spartacus, a DV series that takes us into the world of gladiators in ancient Rome. The central character, Spartacus, was once a Thracian warrior enslaved and forced to become a gladiator. Fueled by a thirst for freedom and revenge, Spartacus leads a slave revolt against the Roman Republic. <laughs> this action-packed series focuses on his journey from captivity to becoming a legendary leader, featuring intense battles and the struggle for justice and liberty. Britannia. Arising. Make events! At number 7, we have Britannia, a DV series that offers a historical setting with a touch of magic. Set in AD 43 during the Roman invasion of Britain, the show loosely follows historical events while weaving in elements of magic and mysticism. It delves into the eerie folklore of both ancient and modern times, creating a unique atmosphere. If you were drawn to the mature content of Game of Thrones, you'll find a similar level of steamy scenes and gritty violence in Britannia. We're going to die? The thought had crossed my mind. This is the first day! As it boldly embraces these elements within its narrative. The Borgias is of Naples. Naples is already independent, Cardinal. Spain would beg to disagree. At number 6, there's The Borgias, a DV series that's a bit like Game of Thrones in one important way. It's all about politics and power within influential families. In Game of Thrones, these political games were a big part of the story, sometimes even more than the fantasy stuff. The Borgias takes a similar approach, with lots of plotting and betrayal, so, if you really like the political side of Game of Thrones, the Borgias could be a great choice for you. The Wheel of Time I can't allow it. Coming in at number 5 is The Wheel of Time, a DV series based on a popular fantasy book series. This show is all about a main character, played by a talented actor, and their journey in a world full of magic and conflicts. It dives into a big prophecy and the battle between good and evil, with the character's growth and challenges as the heart of the story. The last battle is coming. The only thing that matters. 
matters is what you do. If you're a fan of epic fantasy tales with strong characters and richly detailed fantasy worlds, The Wheel of Time is a great choice for you to check out. The Last Kingdom I'm going back to the beginning. At number 4, we have The Last Kingdom, a DV series that draws inspiration from the real-life War of the Roses, a significant conflict in 15th century England. The story revolves around a central character caught in the midst of a tumultuous struggle between Viking invaders and the Kingdom of Wessex. It showcases the character's personal journey and growth against the backdrop of this historical upheaval, providing a glimpse into the complex political landscape of the time. He is here for a reason. Steady your man! If you're intrigued by historical conflicts and character-driven narratives, The Last Kingdom offers an engaging exploration of this period in English history. Shadow and Bone no idea how much larger a role you have to play. At number 3, we have Shadow and Bone, a hit Netflix series adapted from Lee Bardugo's novel. The story revolves around Alina Starkov, an orphan with a remarkable gift in a world plagued by dark forces. Her special ability as a sun summoner holds the potential to either save her dark world or make her a target. While some viewers have noted concerns about limited character development and a somewhat uneventful plot. That which is most precious to you. Others admire the show's well-crafted nature, a talented cast, and the introduction of a captivating new fantasy world. The Witcher. You will unleash true calamity upon us all. At number two, we have The Witcher, a Netflix series adapted from Andrei Sapkowski's Buck series, making it a perfect choice for Game of Thrones fans. The show features a central character portrayed by a skilled actor, embodying Geralt of Rivia, a monster hunter in a dark fantasy world. The series stands out with its grim fantasy elements, outstanding performances, and impressive production quality that enhances the intricate world building. While the first season garnered praise, some critics had concerns about the occasionally complex storytelling. The witches. Is that so? However, the second season saw a significant improvement, streamlining the plot and drawing viewers in with the heartwarming relationship between Geralt and his young ward Ciri. House of the Dragon At number 1, we have House of the Dragon an HBO series that serves as a prequel to Game of Thrones. This show delves into the history of House Targaryen, a mighty family in the world of Westeros, set roughly 200 years before the time of Daenerys Targaryen. House of the Dragon brings back the elements that made Game of Thrones so popular royal drama, constant political intrigue, and the presence of multiple dragons. History does not remember blood. While you won't find any White Walkers here, this series is already proving to be an excellent example of epic high fantasy, offering fans a captivating look into the lore of the Targaryens and their world. That's it guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.